Oftentimes, we have to live for opportunities. My biggest fear is not to earn enough money to maintain my quality of life. When most travelers think Mexico, they think beaches. But not me, not this time. I'm on a ranch in the mountains and here to learn about work from amazing people. When we get off the beaten track, there's so much for us to discover. I've got to tell you, I loved my time in Mexico. What's not to love? Great food, great culture, great people, and so much to learn from. I was looking forward to coming to Mexico and digging into a conversation about work. Because there are so many big storylines here. And one maybe larger than them all. I mean, Mexico has this amazing history. It was one of the epicenters of farming. The ancient Mayans, I mean, They've got such a beautiful and progressive history. These are the reasons why Mexico is such an amazing place to come to. But it also has this well-known reality that many of its people have had to leave to seek out opportunity. And above all else, that became my biggest takeaway lesson in Mexico. Opportunity. Where does it come from? And what do you do if it's not there? Don't get me wrong, Mexico is a big country and there's a lot going on here. Lots of positive things. Mexico has a low and stable unemployment rate. Public post-secondary is mostly free. And the people here, they work hard. I mean, they seriously work hard and long. This is not a lazy place. And you've got beautiful work too. For example, I met with this mom who makes this incredible candy that the village she's in can't get enough of. And listen to this. Oh, with these candies, I can study my career. I'm a lawyer now. Those candies have paid for her daughter to become a lawyer. I mean, that is work at its best, at its absolute best. But it's not the only story here. Also within Mexico, you've got many people who've needed to move for work, move to the big city. Here in Mexico, there are more jobs here, but also to explore new things, to have new challenges, to have a better quality of life than their parents had. People are leaving smaller towns where their families have lived as far back as they can remember. Going to big cities where they have to work longer hours, be aware of crime. Spend hours on the move. And what's the reason? Why make the move? So as a young person starting a career, what are you considering when you think about working in a small town or a big city? You have to consider how many or how much money you want to earn. Because here in town, there is a low salary. There is a no not many opportunities to find a job. It's similar questions we all face. What are you willing to do to take a step up the earning ladder? Or the social ladder? But in Mexico, that answer often means moving away.
I had this incredible opportunity to talk with a father and a son about the feelings that younger and older generations have about work. On one side, you have this dad saying, stay in a small town. Sure, you're going to earn less, but life is much better here. We have fruit that is free, example, guayabas, avogados, and they could, Chile is free, don't have scores for them. Bigger cities have bigger opportunities, but bring with them bigger challenges. On the other side, this is the way the younger generations feel about it. You, you lose, you lose uh, your family, but you want more money and more uh, possible, uh, a better quality life. Yeah, I know I'm making a tough decision, but when I look at the next 70 years of my life, does it make sense to live a more traditional life? Or will I be left behind? It's something we all fear. We seek out opportunities to make the climb, make the climb into our future, make the climb into a lifestyle you can trust. And for many people in Mexico, that climb has meant some really hard choices. The reality is that they've not only left their city or their small town, but they've also sometimes needed to leave their country. Not because they don't love it, but because they're seeking one big thing. Opportunity. The hard truth is that sometimes the opportunity is what? I study at a university, and, but it's, uh, it's very hard to have a good job. Yes. Sometimes they are lawyers or they are like doctors and they are driving a Uber or they are in construction or in a farm or something like that. So it's very hard for yes. us. It's very low salaries. Yes. It's important to note that people leaving Mexico have all sorts of skills. 1.2 million Mexicans with education beyond a degree have left their country over the last 25 years. devastating for people, devastating for families, but it's also really hard on the country. For those who have it, we take it for granted, don't we? Opportunity. I asked two questions earlier. Where does it come from? Because regardless of how hard you've worked to create your own reality, much of the opportunity you face has been rooted in the environment around you. It's been created by other people. Which brings us to our second question. What do you do when opportunity isn't there? That question hit me in the gut in Mexico, this beautiful country with so much going for it that's also full of many hard choices. So my suggestion is this. Use this opportunity to experience the lesson. Let it hit you. Regardless of effort, regardless of skills, what would you do if you didn't have an opportunity to match? And I'll see you next time from Columbia.